and you've been trusting God and you're coming to church, but you're tired of going through the same situation over and over again. And there's the stereotypical preacher just up there shouting, trust God, just do it, just trust him. And you're like, I've been trusting him, but I feel way too broken right now to be used by God. And you need to realize today that the negative thoughts that you think aren't from you. And they're definitely not from God. You hear the story of people whose thoughts and they say, it's just in my head, you should kill yourself. I don't know about you, but I don't talk to myself in my head saying you, and God would never tell you to kill yourself. That is the enemy applying more outside pressure. That is the enemy putting pressure on you to stop the process that God is doing in your life. That is the enemy trying to stop your promise. That is the enemy trying to break you. And if you think you're too broken to be used by God, you need to step back and remember and realize just who was used in the Bible every single time that God did great things. You need to realize just who God uses because God only uses broken vessels because broken vessels are all that God has to use. They are the only options that God has to pick from when he goes to do his plan. Everybody that he has to use for his purpose are all imperfect people. And I don't know about you, but that releases me from the pressure of trying to be something that I'm not. From the pressure of trying to control something that I can't. From the pressure of trying to live up to a standard that was never meant to be reached by anyone other than Jesus. Because he was the only perfect, he is the only perfect person. That is why he is the only perfect person to live. I don't have to get it together. You don't have to get it together because Jesus already paid it all for you. Jesus lived as if he sinned so you can live as if you don't.